Welcome to Bella Vista High School in Fair Oaks, California. Tonight, another night of Bella Vista Lacrosse here on YouTube. It is a varsity only contest tonight as the Oakmont Vikings come to town, a team that is three and eight on the year, three and six in the Foothill Valley League. The Bella Vista Broncos, they're five and six, oh and two in the Delta League, looking to go 500 uh, with a win here this evening and so we'll see what happens just three weeks left in the regular season and seven more games to go hi everybody george tharrelson david houseworth with you we're in the home stretch now right some big games coming up obviously uh, a, a couple of games with rio jesuit next week but the business at hand right now is the oakmont vikings and uh, it would be a, a win tonight for bella vista gets them back at 500 it would be huge yeah, I think uh, looking just uh, the, the, only, the only view I've had on Oakmont this season is looking at their, their, uh, um, their results and their schedule. And uh, it feels like, you know, maybe, maybe a BB can take care of business tonight against Oakmont, just looking at common, common opponents. Um, but we'll find out, and that's why you play them, so that we can find out. <laughs> exactly. You mentioned, you mentioned the common opponents. Uh, uh, Rio Americano, Del Oro, Nevada Union, Roseville, and Christian Brothers. Oakmont lost all of them. Uh, Bella Vista, of course, played very tough against Nevada Union, losing that one by just a goal. Lost in overtime to Christian Brothers. They've defeated Rio. They uh, defeated Del Oro, and they defeated Roseville. Uh, and then, um, and then they uh, uh, Oakmont also lost to Grant, and Bella Vista won that one by forfeit. Right. So that's, that's really not a, a, a good benchmark there. But uh, but uh, just looking at Bella Vista has had the better run against those common opponents. Right, and so again, that, that's what leads me to say, you know, that's that's what we might expect to see uh, this evening. Again, we'll, we'll play it to find out. And then you said that, you know, final run here. You're right on the schedule. Uh, most of the games from here on out have the asterisk next to them, which means league game. Mm -hmm. And um, so all except for the last one, Del Oro, uh, they're all league from here on. Tonight's not, but all the others are besides one. And um, so, and, and BB's got their big their big opponent coming, Jesuit, in a couple of games from now. That's what they really need to focus on and get ready for. Um, and so, you know, a, a night like this, assuming that they could probably handle uh, Oakmont here, assuming that, be good night to work on getting ready for Jesuit a couple nights from now, a couple games. Well, and, and well, and and prior to Jesuit, which is actually uh, next w next week, uh, they've got Rio Americano in the afternoon on Wednesday. And then St. Mary's in Stockton on Friday, so a couple of a uh, couple of important league games as well. And yes. then, but you're right. Then uh, and then Jesuit will be here before you know it uh, right. on on Wednesday of next week. So yeah, so three games to get ready. I mean, the, uh, the way I would view the schedule, three games to get ready for Jesuit tonight and the next two. Um, winnable for they appear to be all these appear to be winnable for uh, for BV. But Jesuit's going to be a test, and so they've got you know three games in what ten days. Uh, between now and the Jesuit game to, to gear up and be ready for that for that real test and you know here we are second half of the season they're they're uh, got you know they've got it they've got it going on they've got a couple of wins under their belt the last two uh, maybe they can get a couple more before the Jesuit so to me that is a real mark on the calendar when last we saw the Broncos Matthew Bunny was just lighting it up from everywhere eight goals tied a school record for most goals in a game did a little research on that oh, as a matter yet. of fact you find out? it's not only um, it's not only uh, Matteo Polanco that has that uh, has uh, netted uh, eight goals in one game. Jackson Steffen in 2020, so that would be the spring of 2020, the shortened COVID year. Jackson Steffen had eight goals in a game, and then it's also the record for the full program. Julia Thomas, Joe's ah. younger sister hit eight goals in one game earlier this year. That's so that's what we've been able to determine here. Eight goals has been kind of the uh, uh, the spot. So let's see if uh, somebody can come up with more Nine, than that, whether right. it's <laughs> Bunny or uh, Polanco. It won't be Stefan, but uh, maybe Julia Thomas in a girls game. <laughs> so we will see. Um, we'll see how that goes. But uh, just a little, uh, as we were talking about it last week, about the records, thought I would uh, Look that up and well, see yeah. what we could find out. Good and to know. And, and eight is a big number. Uh, yeah, I'm not surprised it's a record. Uh, and, and it's a little surprising somebody else has hit it before. But uh, maybe that's the ceiling. Eight is a lot. Eight is a lot. <laughs> that's Max two. Matalucci of Folsom had nine goals against Bella Vista in a game last year. So I, I, I do remember that, and I remember that name very well. We saw him earlier you this year. You said it a lot. <laughs> yes, we, we well, <laughs> sure, sure did. All right. 
So the uh, players have been introduced, and we are going to connect with public address announcer Brandon Simpson here as we get ready for the national anthem. If you would please rise and remove your caps and honor America during the playing of our national anthem. And there's our national anthem, and now it's time to play lacrosse here at Bella Vista High School. The Vikings of Oakmont, the Broncos. Bella Vista just reminding you of the records, three and eight for Oakmont, three and six in the Foothill Valley League. Bella Vista five and six on the air, 0 oh and two in league play. They played a couple of league games earlier. And then as you mentioned, David, it's gonna be a full slate of league games after tonight. Yeah, uh, it's getting real now. Um, and, you know, you're watching the college games on Saturday, same situation in, in, the, in that level as well. Uh, play out of league games early, play your league games late, and um, you've gotten ready for them. Now they really, really matter. Uh, this is that, that determines your postseason opportunities. So now's the time. So some last minute instructions going on as the uh, pregame clock continues to count its way down towards zero. Three officials tonight will be in charge of the game. Uh, and they will be uh, calling the teams over to the middle of the field for the ceremonial greeting at midfield, I guess. That ref in the center, the one that has the ball, has the lighter hair. She was refing when I last played adult league 20 years ago. Oh, wow. Yeah, she'd been refing for years, um, and uh, it's, it's been exactly 20. And uh, um, so she's still out there, you know, get, getting the work done. I watched her... Uh, Watched her one, uh, ref one on video, not moving as fast. Um, probably never moved real fast, and none of them do. But, you know, experience. There you go. So we will have an experienced lead referee. So we're looking forward to uh, uh, a fun game tonight. Just a single game, one game for you tonight. It almost feels like we didn't do anything yet. Right. So <laughs> and here we are getting ready for the varsity game to go on. Uh, so we'll get this... Uh, uh, we'll get this underway, and uh, the Oakmont Vikings in their dark navy blue uniforms, and Bella Vista, of course, in the home whites. The all whites against the all blues. Watching the uh, 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 Vikings warm up, uh, they got the two guys out there that look like they're attacking. Uh, they're ball handlers 22 and 3. Uh, appear to be their better ball handlers. I didn't get to watch a ton of it. There may be more. Well, we but will be calling those uh, those names quite a bit. Number 22 is Derek Pryor, leads the team in goals with 27. Number three is Owen Parazzi, 10 goals on the year. He's their second leading scorer, and he also is showing on the roster as their number three goalie. So I guess he's I guess he's their Joe Thomas. Yeah, he's versatile. So <laughs> so he's a sophomore too. So is Pryor. 22 and 3 are both sophomores. All right, so Jackson Ellsworth is getting ready to uh, face it off at midfield against Seth Starkey. Actually, he's the second leading scorer with 12 goals on the year. And Parazzi with uh, uh, 10 is 
close by. Carson Hicks is the goalie for uh, for Oakmont. River Kinley gets the start for Bella Vista tonight. And so we are ready to get this ball game rolling here on a Monday evening, a very pleasant Monday evening, not as cold as some of these other games that we've been doing uh, in the, in the, even in the recent weeks. So uh, spring is definitely here as the sun sets down on an eclipse Monday that we didn't see. Uh, so who will eclipse whom in the next uh, hour and a half? We'll find out. And Bella Vista with Joe Thomas is on the move. You use the subjective case on your relative pronoun there. That's really good. <laughs> Most people don't. Bunny behind the net had that big game the other night. See how he tested that uh, defenseman there? He came snuck, snuck up on GLE, snuck up on GLE, and then dealt it off. It's got good read. Morris to the outside. Slow Morris up. to his right. He's looking. Slow He's thinking slide. about it. Instead, they'll swing it back behind the net once again. Bunny is at the X. He'll do the same thing. He's going to try it again. They now right it. out in front looking for Alonzo. Couldn't connect. And we've got a whistle. Going this blue. one's going the other way. So uh, Oakmont will pick this one up. And they connect. So are they on the move left side? Two Where's missed ground ball? balls. Got to have it. Broncos come up with it. So here's a fast break. Looks like a BB setting it up a little bit. We can Polanco up high. The other two guys down on GLE. Pass should go left. Max uh, Morris closed off. Right out in front. That's Alonzo once again. Has a little trouble with it. And Oakmont takes possession once again. Shouldn't clear in the middle. Good movement there by Matthew Bunny to jar that one loose and help Joe Thomas win the possession. Thomas left side. Bunny. See the patience on Thomas when he got that ground ball. He didn't try to force it because he just didn't need to. Just a good idea to just now set up the offense and let's go from here. Bunny. Look to curl Top around. Side. Get out in front. He's got a chance. He scores. Matthew Bunny. First goal of the game for Bella Vista. And for Bunny, 62nd career goal. And for the season, 27th of the year. We may find this to be a stats night for the Broncos. That uh, be the, the beat that he that he did on that defender was pretty s significant. Got a full step or more, and uh, the goalie didn't move that much on that shot. A set different uh, faceoff man for uh, uh, Vikings here. Big guy, 88. And that is Jaden Kalb, a junior. Trying to use the size to win the faceoff, but uh, the Broncos get it once again. Ellsworth, uh, work it back behind the net. Here's Bunny again. He'll look for it. Polanco. And then just into the game, Cody Simpson. If four blue keeps covering Polanco, look at the size match up there. Polanco's a lot bigger than his defender right here. Polanco right through a double uh, team. Double cutting Matthew Bunny he scores again! What a pass by Mateo Polanco and a great read by Polanco as well to find a cutting Matthew Bunny and the Broncos are up 2 nothing. Yeah, that's the stats night we're going to see. And, and Two again, goals in about 30 seconds. Yeah, and again, we're going we're gonna to see that the, uh, it, it looks like that uh, BB's attack, BB's offense, a little quicker, a little more in sync uh, and, and able to uh, take advantage of uh, Oakmont's maybe slight out of position on their defense. Facing it off. Cody Simpson taking the face off for Bella Vista. Loose ball. Broncos are going to control it once again. Alonzo. Once again, Bunny. Looking out in front. Nice check. Gets off a blue stick, I think. I've got swept toward the end line, mm -hmm. and that will stay with Bella Vista. Montana Ornelas into the game, picks it up. He's got some room. Oh, he could have driven further. 
Don't let that bounce. Polanco back at the end line to pick it up. He's got Bunny. Bunny cut. cut Bunny and Polanco right have switched mm -hmm. spaces. Here's Bunny out front. Fake, fake, another fake. shot, yep. another score. A hat trick for Matthew Bunny, and we're not even four minutes into the game. BV offense is a little bit of a hot knife through butter here on the, on the Oakmont uh, defense. And uh, uh, the, the BV guys read it, they see it, they know, they, they, they see the open spaces, they see that the Oakmont's not uh, responding or uh, not recognizing it, and uh, they're going to keep doing that, I suspect. So doing a little math for Matthew Bunny. 64 career goals, 29 for the season. Taking Bunny out. Got somebody else in there for, uh, is that Hoop maybe in, in uh, uh, yeah, 21? Well, Hoop's going to obviously have a, a greater role in the years to come as he is a sophomore. Bunny, of course, is a junior. He'll be the leader next year. So, again, this is a night to get ready for things. Get ready for Jesuit in a couple, um, you know, couple of games, few games. Get ready for uh, next year because it, you know, again, it uh, looks like BB's going to be able to look at that. Alonso out front, his sweeping shot, he scores. And that was on a pass from Joe Thomas, or no, from Max Morris. That may be the first time that, that, that I can remember that we've seen a feed from up top to the crease uh, by BB this year. Uh, very effective offense. You can see what it does. You get a shot taken from five yards, four yards. Uh, very, very effective offense, and uh, I, I would look forward to seeing more of that uh, from the rest of the season from BB. So, again, we are still not even four minutes into the game, and it is 4 nothing in favor of Bella Vista. It's just a chore for Oakmont just to see secure any kind of a possession. And there it looked like they had it, but now it winds up in Alonzo's possession. Will Victorin coming on for Bella Vista. Miles Hatfield as well. Polanco. He's got a short stick on him. Polanco gets free. He'll take a sweeping shot. Save Carson Hicks. Hoop over to Polanco. So Hoop is playing the X position in place of Matthew Bunny right now. So now BB's got a guy on the crease. Let's look to see if they uh, they want to feed him. He's, he's open. Put your stick up. He's got a stick at his hip. That doesn't help. Needs to be by his head. And you guys need to be able to see it. Victorin will track that one down. the yellow call down below. Nice snag by Polanco. He'll take a shot. That one goes wide. Wide right and wide left. Next one. What do you think? Well, in I think if you split the difference, in then the it's either yeah. going to be a save or a goal. There's a ball on the field. They should get that off right there. So this will go over to Oakmont. It's a busy week for the Broncos this week. We've been talking about it. Rio Americano, the varsity, will play at 3.30 on Wednesday and the JVs at 5.30, and then the conventional start times this Friday in Stockton against St. Mary's. Interception by Bella Vista, that's Hayes Reed. He'll launch it down, here's Polanco. Polanco gets by one defender, he shoots and scores! That one was in the middle. Well, just like you predicted. Now let me ask you on that. That was a great pass by Hayes Reed. Does he get an assist, or did Bol Polanco move too much uh, to negate the assist? Yeah, move too much. I, the, you know, a couple of steps. Uh, after a couple of steps, it's not an assist anymore. You make a, you know, football has the football move. Right. Uh, and so that's uh, the lacrosse move. Once you make the lacrosse move. Yeah. Okay. A, a, as I know it, um, yeah, you pretty much uh, to get an assist, you pretty much got to take the shot from the pass. Okay, I got gotcha. you. We're trying to help you learn the game as well here on our live streams. Seth Starkey, one of their top scorers. He's number two on the list with 12. So first Oakmont possession here. 
And uh, so they'll want to they'll want to just control it here for just a little bit. And the player you're looking for is number 22, Dylan Pryor. This is Starkey. Starkey gets free. Starkey's going to take a, a shot. shot. He scores. A shot. He got a little overplayed by his defender, uh, who's just a little bit, a uh, little, little too aggressive, and uh, got himself out of place. He was able to uh, Starkey able to take advantage of that. So for Starkey, that's his 13th goal of the year. It comes with 6:02 to go here in the first quarter. Now he's earned the faceoff. So that was pretty quick uh, offensive uh, possession, or, or, or early offense by by uh, Oakmont there. But they finally got something going, and they made uh, very efficient use of it. Oakmont not too aggressive on that ground ball. Yeah. So the officials are going to come over and talk this one out. She's thinking that maybe the uh, some guys came out of the box too early, but they well waited for possession. I didn't I didn't hear the call, didn't see the call on possession, but they got the ground the ground ball was picked up before they left the box, and now she gets it. So sometimes you just got to talk it out, and it looks like it will be possession to Bella Vista, and that's Ryland Wilson, the freshman, will pick this one up, and he'll begin play. A little benefit to Bella Vista there because those blue shirts were coming really fast when that whistle came. Alonzo, they'll work it uh, back behind the net. Bunny is able to secure that before it went out of bounds. Out Another front, cutter. that's Man uh, Montana Ornelas cutting in. And looked like he was able to get uh, possession. Goes over to Oakmont. Ah, they had the guy there. And immediately trying the long pass, and they turn it over. Well, that was BV's second feed, well, third feed to the crease. Uh, and again, we hadn't seen it all season. So what we may see now is a new layer to their offense, which is which is really important because that's a very effective piece of offense. That's Hoop. And Bunny at the X. There's a cutter. So we'll, as we're watching this, and, and, and BB's got the ball behind, we we'll want to be have a one eye also out up on top and see who starts cutting, and see how uh, Oakmont uh, reacts to it. The guy on the crease, guy on the crease. Thomas, he'll wind up and take a shot, and that's a save for Carson Hicks. And he'll launch this one. Not really open. Polanco will come up with it. That's a little in the back too, but Polanco on the move. Polanco with a swim move and a bouncing shot that Carson Hicks will save. Starkey now being hounded. And Bunny winds up with it right in front of the net. Flag down, shot score. Nice to see Bunny throw those fakes before taking the shot. You know, that's patience. Uh, that's what you want to do right there. Make the goalie move, and then you can pick your spot. Nice to see. That is the fourth goal of the game for Matthew Bunny, and his 30th for the season, 65th of his career. Finally, they're hitting some benchmarks, some of those benchmarks during one of our live streams right, instead yeah. of doing it on the road. <laughs> of course, Bunny got number 60 last Wednesday when we were last on, too. So, Oakmont has a guy in the box, but they have the three guys here on the uh, faceoff. They need, yeah, need it. and they don't have enough guys down on defense. There he goes. We do have a player Go in the six. penalty box uh, from the penalty that happened right as Bunny scored the goal. So Ogman is down a man. And we control. Whistle as Starkey came up with it. It's going white. It's going over to Bella Vista. Worth. Look at the ball behind the net. Now here's Bunny once again. 
Guy shouldn't be playing out there on man up because of that. And he gets by. Oh, oh and God. the pass just a little too tall to Caden Hoop. A little too excited. He had that guy beaten all the way out there uh, by the, by, what is that, the, the, the soccer box? Uh, way, way, way out there. And uh, had lots of time to figure out a good a quality pass. Boy, you got to try harder than that for the ground ball. Another ball out of, hit, out of bounds. Another opportunity for Oakmont to clear the zone. The field clears that you've talked about a lot for Bella Vista seem to be a uh, real bugaboo for Oakmont. Nice That's grab. a good nice catch. Grab. That's Jack Markey. And Seth Starkey. You got Markey and Starkey right there playing a two man game. Now, Oakmont is even. They're going to want to look to uh, their, their main guys, you know, uh, I was at 3 and 22. They've got them out there. Uh, Back behind the net, that may be prior. Nice feed. Yeah. Ah. Right out in front, and the ball is loose. It was left handed. Left handed pass by 22. Broncos. Found the right guy. Nice grab. That is a good grab by Max ah, Morris, and he loses possession. Should have just kept going right. There were no blue shirts to his right. Stepped into a blue shirt. Got to get in that pick box. it up. That's Thomas. Got to get in the box. Caden Hoop. He'll send it over to Bunny. He'll take another shot and score. Now, Hoop will get the assist there. I would say so, too. Five goals in the first quarter for Matthew Bunny. He just continues. He is on fire. Well, again, against this, uh, as at, at the, I think, first goal, going to be a stats night for BB tonight. Um, they, they're going to be able to do whatever they want. And it's you know, how many goals he gets is just a question of how long the coach leaves him in. Well, and that's a good point, too, with uh, Bella Vista leading 7-1. to one, And if this continues, maybe you play some of the younger players. He got three games this week. Yeah, and uh, a little later, what, what, you know, what, what I'd like to see BB do when they come down on offense is, you know, set up something they want to do, call the play, essentially, and, uh, and run that play. Again, we've seen them feed the crease, uh, cutters, or uh, somebody who was in the crease already. Um, and, you know, drill that, drill that, drill that. Because, again, this is the first night we've seen it. This is Hatfield. Nice snag there by Bella Vista. Alonzo out front. Again, worthwhile. They shouldn't be. The defense shouldn't be playing that far out. It just doesn't make any sense. Just run. Just run. Just run. 88's probably is. He was sort of fast before, but not real fast. Miles Hatfield. He'll take a shot. That one goes wide. Shoot that straight over, and it doesn't go wide. A sidearm release. It, it can be. It can be much harder to have that be accurate. Uh, but if you throw it like a sidearm throw, a sidearm throw. Could go anywhere. You throw it straight over. You know exactly where it's going. Blanco, oh, that one's hype. wide. Unless you're Kent Tacove or uh, Dan Quisenberry, right? Where but you've mastered it. But and of course, here. most people are wondering who. You're exactly. Yeah, that's <laughs> but that's my childhood. Yeah, Tacove's <laughs> a long time ago. Yes. So, but um, there's a save by Carson Hicks. But th those guys were superhuman, right? Anybody, yes. anybody at that level is a superhuman. Uh, we, we here are mere mortals, uh, and so throw inside arm, it, you know, it's very little, there's not as much chance it's going to be accurate. Bunny right out in front for Alonzo mm -hmm. and Hicks with the save. See, he had time to place that shot as well. Oh, uh, Hicks drops the ball and it goes into the net. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, yeah that's just a heartbreaker for him. Yeah. And the officials are going to talk this one over. This is a goal that I, 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 I rule that I'm not completely sure of. I, I thought during a college game uh, recently, an own goal is not a goal. With if if if, if it if it if it goes through the goalie and into the goal on a shot, that's a goal. If the goalie on their own makes it go into the goal, it is not a goal. Okay, so it is no goal. Score remains seven to one. That's a good grab. On the move, that is Parazzi. Nice feed. Uh, that was too tall for Markey and 
sprinting over Norman Woods. He wasn't able to uh, get that one either. So here come the Broncos. Montana Ornelas. A couple of goals this year. That's good. Beebe's got a guy on the crease all alone. Bender doesn't know where he is. Jack Ellsworth. Two threes open on the crease. Nice go back pass. to Bunny. Bunny nice s curls around, and ball he'll try out. the sidearm shot. Ball comes loose. Good job, Oakmont. We're about 15 seconds to go in the quarter. Now here's something for BB to practice. They got just a few seconds. They got to make something happen. Here's Polanco, uh, and the uh, pass to uh. Bunny goes wide, and with 2.7 seconds to go, it is out of bounds, and that's going to go over to Oakmont. And that is going to be where the first quarter comes to an end once we hear the siren. So they'll bring it in play. Let's throw it into next week. There you go. Might as well. And I'm sure Oakmont has plenty going on next week as well. <laughs> so that brings us to the end of the first quarter. It is seven to one in favor of uh, in favor of Bella Vista. Again, just kind of a continuation of what we saw last week. Uh, the Broncos uh, on a bit of a roll right now against the uh, 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 Oakmont here and then um, uh, uh, their game uh, that they played last week as well, so on Wednesday. So uh, impressive, and, you know, Matthew Bunny <laughs> just continuing to do his thing. Yeah, uh, again, we were mentioning that, you know this late in the season. Uh, BB's got all the teams are you know, getting it figured out. And they're getting uh, getting it figured out how to work together. They've uh, you know instituted many different plays and schemes and mechanisms and so on. And then you know quite honestly, the fact is uh, Oakmont is not really uh, up to up to the level of BB. And so you know it's 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 seven one now. Could it be twenty eight four when it's over? It sure could be. Um, BB will want to work. Uh, I I think BB will want to work on the things for. You know, Rio is better than Oakmont. We've seen Rio play better. St. Mary's, I saw just a little bit of them. Um, if what I saw is um, what they're like these days, not quite what they have been in the past, but again, Jesuit's coming, and uh, you want to get yourself ready. Um, how great would it be to, be to be Jesuit? So this is an opportunity to drill, 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 and uh, hone their skills and make themselves ready for that game. Two successful, two, two passed stick checks at the quarter. No penalties here. And we'll get the second quarter underway. Jackson Ellsworth will come out to uh, take the face off for Bella Vista. Oakmont taking a little bit more time in the huddle as they look to regroup. You're going to need to hurry. They, if, they don't, if they don't get out on time, they'll get a penalty. They'll blow the whistle again here in a sec. There it is. In which so case, you got to come out. Just come on. Let's go. I know the way he'd be walking. It looks like it may be Seth Starkey that is... Uh, jogging to the face-off circle. Broncos control and some great work by Jackson Ellsworth and Ryland Wilson before Joe Thomas picked that up. In front shot score! Matthew Bunny once again on a feed from Joe Thomas. We're gonna want to look at that on the films. I think that was kind of a no look by Thomas. I think it's I think his face was facing down, you know, down at the end line, uh, but passed over diagonally across uh, diagonally across to his left. Good luck. So for Bunny, that's number six on the game. <laughs> Uh, and uh, number eight for Bella Vista with 11.48 to go in the second quarter. 
Matthew Bunny, by the way, with six goals, now up to 67 for his career. That was last quarter. <laughs> Got to remember yeah. which way you're supposed right. to go. Here's Caden Hoop. Hoop. He saw the opening there. Bunny. And he usually plays the left side. He's on the right right now. Hoop from the X. His way around. And they'll spin it back around the world here. Miles Hatfield. Bunny once again. Hit decent deep. That and wasn't full speed by Bunny. Trade but places. Curl his way around looking for a cutting Polanco. That one. Uh, well, two, two cool things to see there. One. BB tried to hit a cutter, and two, the topside middies were in position to catch the missed pass. Topside middies should always expect that pass to be missed and be in position to catch that. Polanco in his spot. He scores. Mm -hmm. No, he didn't. It was yeah. the side. I'm sorry. That's right. Hard to tell. Saw the, re the, the goalie looking in the goal. So no goal there. Sorry for the false alarm. So not, not a real clear by, uh, by, uh, by Oakmont. This now becomes a turnover. Broncos will pick it up. Ten minutes to go. River Kinley. Ball Oakmont picks it up. Failed clear. It's one of their guys here. So he needs to go through 22 and 3. And that's Pryor. Here's Starkey. Pryor is going to try one. A little far out. If that was a save, it would have been an instant turnover. So you might want to see if you can create a little better shot than that. That goal they got uh, by 7 was much closer to the goal. Starkey. Runs the point. That's their leading scorer, Dylan Pryor. Right out in front. That one controlled by Bella Vista. It was Aiden Hamill that was the intended receiver, if you will. That, that feed was a little flat-footed, and that uh, can, can easily make a pass below like it was. Broncos on the move. Will Victorin finds Polanco. Cody Simpson way out front. BB coach is calling for a hunt 100, which means once around. The question is, do they go clockwise or counterclockwise? Yeah, they, as right-handed guys, they're going to want to go uh, counterclockwise. And that's exactly what they're doing. So there's one spin around the world. We'll see if they do it again. Simpson. Ball. And we got a whistle. Going blue. It's going to be heading Oakmont's way. 8.09 to go in the second quarter here at Bella Vista. Probably got interference. Like that's Bunny that will serve the penalty. So first man up for Oakmont. We'll see what they can uh, see what they put together. See what they see what they want to uh, execute here. Um, starting with an open set here. Uh, they're they're a little not necessarily difficult for them. For There's Hamill. He's winding up and yeah, sending yeah, that yeah. one wide. It was a decent shot. I mean. He got moderately close and wasn't wasn't harassed at all. Yeah, nobody near him. You could tell as he picked up speed on the move. That that's exactly what he wanted to do. Take that one. Here's Starkey. He'll take one from distance. Yeah. He scores. 
So Seth Starkey, that's his second goal of the game. Makes it 8-2, to two, Bella Vista. Yeah, I think he was just a little inside 15. That's still a little far out, but, you know, for what Oakmont's going to be able to create in that situation, that's a very takeable shot. And look what they got. So for uh, Seth Starkey, 14th goal of the year. And they cut the lead to six with 7.50 to go here before halftime. Broncos win the draw once again. With Jackson Ellsworth. Cut it back, Thomas. Polanco over there as well. Uh, veterans. In their fourth year on varsity. Sweep right. Good Thomas. Slides. He'll spin it back down to Matthew Bunny. Bunny will work it around. Polanco again. Save. Saved by Carson Hicks. Loose ball. Hicks covers it up. He's got 8-8. Eight, eight. Oh, he's got 2-2 two, two, right, two on it. Wow, oh, that's just... Carson Hicks rocking a, rocking a pair of yellow and orange shoes. Very easy to see there. Here's think he's gonna shoot. On, the, on, the, on the way. There's a swing shot that goes wide. Not often that Hayes Reed gets a chance to shoot the ball with that long stick. He did have one goal last year. I think that's his second shot of the year. So, you know, th tonight's a night where he thinks he can maybe make that. And, 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 yeah, maybe he can. But you know what that was? Was a turnover. Now, fortunately, BB was able to just grab it back right here. Uh, uh, but but that's what they can do tonight against this blue team. Uh, other nights, they won't be able to do that. And so, you know, sh he, yeah, yeah, they were telling him. And he didn't, he didn't re react to it. Again, what BB should be working on is not necessarily beating this blue team, but being the very best BV they can be. And, uh, and, and, you know, trying things new and different. Get the feet of the oh, hit, so he tried to get it to Bunny. That's going to bounce behind the net. Hicks is going to pick it up. And that will go out of bounds, and that will be another turnover by Oakmont. Island Wilson comes up with it here. Swinging shot that goes wide. Off night for Polanco, about four misses. Now you're shooting for the edges of the goal all the time, so missing is normal. Uh, but, you know, he's usually very, very reliable and has missed several. Under six minutes to go in the... second quarter. Joe Thomas, some aggressive defense there. Good check. Loose ball, River Kinley's gonna scoop that one up. Noah Glenn was on the receiving end of so that Joe clearing, Thomas's defense. That clearing defense. pass went into three blue shirts. Yes, BB got it, but right into three blue shirts. There's a shot and a score for Bella Vista. Matthew Bunny once again. So you see his stick skills and his ability to uh, just, uh, you know, psych the goalie, make the defender miss, get a, get an open spot right in there close to the crease. But, you know, Oakmont is not playing any body on defense. Um, other teams will, you know, Bunny hangs in there, any, any attackman hangs in there for just a, a moment too long, and he's going to be flat on his back. 33rd goal of the season for Matthew Bunny and the 68th for his career. Tabler took the, uh, oh, guy. Jacob Tabler took the uh, face off there. Here's an underhanded shot. Winds up in the possession of River Kinley. Dylan Pryor's back there. Kinley's on the move and he'll let that one go. Bronco's not able to control it. Well, you mentioned Ta Jacob Tabler. Didn't he play for a different team? He was on the JV squad last year. Ah. Right, 
He was the face-off specialist uh, for the JV squad last year. Uh, it's given way to, uh, on the varsity level, to Jackson Ellsworth and Cody Simpson for the most part. This ball behind the net. It's going out. To Go blue. Stay with Oakmont. 9-2 game in favor of Bella Vista. Shot. There's a shot and a score. Top left. And that's, so, so, uh, I'll get it out. That's Starkey again. He's got a hat trick. That was a good zippy shot. So it stung the net up there in the top left corner. So Seth Starkey finds the back of the net for the third time tonight with 4.26 to go. It's now 9-3. So Oakmont saying, hey, you know, we're here too. They're, they're taking advantage of the limited opportunities they're getting. Uh, for Starkey, now 15 goals on the year. Over the Oakmont's possession. Oakmont doing a real respectable job on the faceoffs. They haven't won many of the ground balls, but they've done a good job on the on the. Uh, on the draws. I like the hustle in this 8 8 here in blue. Too. Big guy, but he, he turns it on. This is Roman Gold with possession. Pryor. Tebow comes up with it for Bella Vista. That's a nice pass, huh? And right there. Waiting for it. Jackson Ellsworth. And now they'll spin it back behind the net. Here's Matthew Bunny once again. Good time to run a play. Pick pick one. Say, let's do this. Rather, rather than just individual dodging. Ellsworth's shot goes wide. Bunny secures possession. 3.22 to go. I mean, we already know that we can individually dodge and beat the blue team that's here. Uh, but how do we get better than we are? And uh, one of the ways to do that is, is, is you know, picking some plays and running that. We've got to get man on the crease here, 10. Typically don't do that here, 17. Whoa, it was, was open for a sec. And another score for Bella Vista. And guess who? That's number 69 for his career. Eighth goal of the game. That ties the record. Right. So you're in, the, in that mentioned before the hot knife through butter um, that, that that's what they can do um, against the blue team that's here but that's a good again a good opportunity to work on we things we in addition to that we have more than a half of uh, action left to go and the way bunny's been scoring you know he's going to score again the next goal he scores will set an all-time single game high for the broncos Ball start. Eight, eight, fall back. Fall Here back, come the Broncos. Back, fall back. He's beaten already. This is Ellsworth. Check. Check that. That's uh, that was Simpson. Sorry. Hatfield or Thomas. So BB's got a man on the crease again. Um, Here's Bunny. Typically don't. Loose ball. He comes up with it. Thomas, sweep right. They make a move, spin it back behind to Bunny once again. Out front. Try to feed the inside. Got blocked. There he is. He's open. He's open. He's open. Two hands on that stick in the middle, though. Bunny will take it back behind the net once again. Here's Polanco. Polanco. Alonzo's out front. Polanco will make his move. Pipe. And there's another sweeping shot that that one goes in. Joe Thomas. Nice little, little bowling shot there. T took some off it and just rolled it in. So a 2.05 to go. Makes it 11 to 3.
So Bunny's next goal, if it comes in this game, will be his ninth, which will be a uh, single game career high, as we mentioned. It'll also be career goal number 70. Broncos pick this one up. He's got help on his left. On the move, Nick Tharlson to Bunny, he shoots! That one goes wide. Tharlson picks it back up again for the Broncos. He will retreat. Staying wide a bit. A defensive midfielder could have gotten the assist on <laughs> Bunny's record setting goal if that had gone in the net there. Here's Thomas. Thomas just scored moments ago. Cuts in front, there's Alonzo, he scores! Jacob Alonzo, that's his second of the game. Goal is good, penalties waved off. And with 1.16 to go, that brings the Broncos lead to 12 to three. And they are picking that up, as you mentioned. Picking up the flag, that is. So for Jonah Alonzo, two goals tonight, fifth uh, of his varsity career. He had three, had four goals last year for the JV squad, three of those coming against Rio, and of course they're playing Rio on Wednesday. Broncos scoop this one up. It's Ellsworth. We got one minute and a quarter, so good opportunity to, uh, you know, would be kind of cool is run it down to about 55 or 50, and, uh, and then take the shot. Island Wilson trying to secure that one. They're going to send this one over to Oakmont. 50 seconds to go. That one's going to go out of bounds and over to Bella Vista. 40 seconds to go. So BB doesn't need the goal, but um, again, take an opportunity. What if this were a one goal game against Rio on Wednesday and there's 40 seconds left in the game and we need to execute right now in 40 seconds? Then he's going to bring it in. Good thing to try and execute. There's Montana Ornelas who spins around. That were a one goal game against Rio. Just lost the game. Long pass will wind up in the possession of River Kinley with 13 seconds to go. The Broncos might be able to do here. Clock continuing five seconds to go. Time is going to expire here in the first half of play on the Bella Vista Broncos. Very impressive, 12 goal first half, eight offered up by Matthew Bunny, tying the single game, uh, the single game high for the Bella Vista Broncos, something he has now done twice this year. And Polanco has done once this year. And again, Jackson Steffen back in uh, uh, 2020 and Julia Thomas on the, uh, the girls team earlier this year as well. So uh, the records are, continuing to fall and the next goal that Matthew Bunny scores in this game will set the single game high. What so if the coach even knows they may not, uh, Bunny might know, but the coach may not, may not be counting. Um, uh, but again, I, I imagine they'll play him. Uh, he's, you know, you want to play him for a while still, run, run the run the first team, get him the reps, get him the reps, get him the reps. But you know, we mentioned before that tonight, hot knife through butter against, uh, against uh, Oakmont. And we saw it in the girls' game last week, uh, last uh, Friday against West Park. Bella Vista dominated that one from start to finish. And ultimately, throughout most of the second half, the players that usually play back were playing up front and, and were the attack. And then the players that were usually up front, like a Julia Thomas, they were actually playing back. And so it would not surprise me to see that happen for ma many reasons. Number one, this is the type of game where you give those players that opportunity. Number two, you also are looking at games on Wednesday and Friday, and so you don't want to wear everybody down in a game that is pretty much, unless uh, Oakmont comes back with a flurry of goals, 
is is already decided. Yeah. Um, so so it would not surprise me to see that, but it would also be kind <laughs> of cool for us to witness Matthew Bunny setting uh, setting the record and getting career goal number seventy as well. Yeah, your first guys have gotten some workout tonight, and uh, you you, you want to <coughs> excuse me, you want to keep them active and get them worked out. But um, you know, good time to play the other guys. But you know, how many other guys are there? I mean, just they can't play the whole game from right. here, and so uh, everyone's going to have to have to be a part of it. But again, perfect, great night to be, you know, drilling the things that you want to, you know, the next things that you want to get done. They're still growing. They still, they're still should be ramping up. And so let's drill those tonight. And, and you've been bringing that up throughout the course of the game. Here is a great opportunity at halftime for the coaches to actually have some time rather than, well, the action's taking place on the field, to actually bring that up and, and talk to them about that. We're going to work on some things now. Yeah. We don't need to, s to score a bunch of goals. Certainly, if you get a good look, take it. But... Uh, but we're going to work on We're going to try and run some plays. We're going to try and get some other people involved uh, with the attack. Um, and and because that's stuff that, like you talked about, that you're going to need to be able to do and have the practice doing in a game situation when you take on the likes of Rio, when you take on the likes of St. Mary's, and, of course, next Wednesday against Jesuit. Right. So, I mean, you've got uh, all of that going on. Yeah, so I, would, I would feed the crease, feed the crease, feed the crease. I wouldn't do anything else with almost entirely. I mean, if that's all you do – Oakland will get used to it and they'll jump on it. So you got to give them the good look of, of multiple looks. But um, uh, I, I continue to feed the crease. It worked. It's a highly effective offense to have. BB, uh, BB has not been using it all year. What a great time to just drill that, drill that, drill that. That's David Houseworth. I'm George Tharolson. We're going to take a bit of a break, and when we come back, we'll get you ready for the second half. Records could be broken in the second half, so don't go anywhere. Bella Vista has a nine-goal lead in this one here at halftime.
And halftime is winding down here at Bella Vista High School. We've got uh, just a few seconds left to go before we get things started here in the third quarter. You can hear how animated the Bella Vista Broncos are after a first half where they have scored 12 goals. Listen to them. Pick that up a little bit more. So they will break free here and they will head off to uh, get, this, uh, get this underway here in the second half. So we saw Chase Jones warming up at halftime. He will take over in goal for the Broncos and play the second half. get the uh, third quarter underway here. We'll see when the running clock starts or when it goes to running clock. Another rule I can't, can't I think that might remember. happen at, at a 10 goal advantage. And we're not quite there yet, you're right. So Oakmont will take possession after the violation here. Norman Woods, number five. And Starkey, of course, has all three Oakmont goals tonight. A little more extended possession here for, uh, for Oakmont. It's good to see. It's not really, not really stressing the BV defense. BV defense doesn't really have to move. A few steps here, a few steps there, and that's about it. This is Heath Beardsley, number eight. Pryor. And he will bring it all the way back out front. So you heard the call from the BB bench, Dodger, which means we expect 22 to go. Feed the inside. 22 to three. They're two, they're two main guys. Jack McCasey. Some good defense by Starkey, but the loose ball picked up by the Broncos. This is Polanco. Polanco out push. front that as the ball back. knocked away. Could have called that push in the back. And that goes out of bounds. Oakmont will take it up back over. move that's prior there's a underhanded shot that goes wide it was and a hard out of bounds it's a hard pass to make that that on that feed that he made he did it fairly well we are at uh, just under 10 minutes to go Oakmont brings it back in. Starkey once again. Underhanded shot. That one goes wide. Shot was from about 17 yards, pretty far away. Jones looks like he got a stick on it as well. And now Oakmont will continue this extended possession here. That's Woods. Now Starkey once again. Starkey gets free. Thought about it. <laughs> That's a good look. That's a good look. He started to take that crank shot. He drew the, his defender, and then he just just gave a nice, easy pass over to his left. Shooting and that's Dylan Pryor. Shooting from Polanco's spot. Sorry, Derek Pryor. Pryor gets his first goal of the game, and it's 28th of the year for Oakmont. 
Makes it uh, 12 to four. I believe Friar's coach's son. If you look down uh, down on the Oakmont bench, there's a the adult wearing a sweatshirt. It says Pryor on the back. 9.13 to go. Broncos get this one. Livingston trying to control it. He does. Hatfield. Here's Victorin. Victorin, he finds Caden Hoop. Alonzo. Some of the younger players getting a chance to play right now for Bella Vista. Here's Victorin. Victorin. Sent wide. He'll bring it back out. Back out in front. Now here's Polanco. Polanco spins free. I'll kick it back over to the left. Polanco at the X. Hoop is in front of the goal. The Broncos are going to They secure the possession once again. They'll take their time a little bit. Hatfield. That's a hold. Cody Simpson gets out of that hold. Letting them play tonight. We haven't had too many calls tonight. So this is a, this is a game where Polanco should drive left, like right here. Uh huh. Take Polanco. Yep. Mm -hmm. Scooped up. New goalie, by the way, for Oakmont, is Berto Reyes, a sophomore. So it looks like he will be playing in the second half after Carson Hicks played the first half. So Derek Pryor is going to get a 30-second. Penalty and I don't see him coming out and oh there there he is he's being shielded so he is in the penalty zone. Great opportunity for BB to just, just completely drill their man up. Now last week they put a man on the crease. Boy they just left Polanco open like crazy. Polanco picks it back up. Hatfield, Hatfield, his bouncing shot. That one goes wide. May have been ushered wide by Reyes. Into the bench saying five seconds in the penalty. Penalties, penalties released. They're even. Good pass. Right back the behind crease. the net. Uh, right out in front. Mm. Ellsworth couldn't get the shot off. Broncos still control it. There's Bunny. Bunny sitting on 69 hit for his career, eight for the game. Thomas. Thomas works his way around. Spins in front. He shoots and scores. Joe Thomas showing that ability he has to just quickly spin in four different directions at the same time and find the back of the net. BB guys ought to just decide to play the rest of this game left-handed. <laughs> Let you know, just test themselves. So we're at 6.08 to go in the uh, third quarter now. Tabler's going to get another opportunity at the face-off circle here. He's got Rylan Wilson and Nick Tharlson on the uh, midfield line as well. Wilson closest to you, your screen, the bottom. Flag down. 
ball. And that looks like that's going to go against uh, Oakmont. Carlson had it for a second. Now there is the So we see number 60 come off. They do not have a number 60 on the roster. Then is he really off? <laughs> <laughs> is he really on the field if he's not on the roster? Well, the cross player sits in the box and no one's there to hear it, and there's no number on the roster. Did it really, did it make any noise? Broncos in possession on the penalty. Ellsworth. We work with Hatfield. And then that, that one's too tall for Bunny, and it's going to go out of bounds. Ball down. Loose ball. Still loose. Who's going to come up with it? Polanco. Polanco. He's out in front, and he'll spin back behind the net. Caden Hoop. Here's Bunny. Polanco. Oh, he was open on the crease. He's open on the crease. Thomas spins through. Got Bunny on the left. Bunny. Over That's to hoop. Slash. There That's is going to be a penalty. That's a slash. No Broncos attempt. will continue to play here. No attempt to get the stick on that, on that stick check. Polanco. He'll look to make a move. Let's slide. I'll bring it back to the outside. He's got four blue shirts on him. And now the penalty will be called. Dylan Ivey. There's some varsity football this year as well. Bunny. Now Polanco once again. One trip around the world. We'll see if they do it again here. Six man rotation. They made that guy. There's Polanco right out front. Place. He'll take a shot. That one goes wide. And the Broncos will be closest to it as it goes out of bounds. You see how that, that rotation created that open space right there in the Dead center. A little high, but dead center. He had plenty of time and room to send that shot. Bunny and Polanco once again working the left. This is Ellsworth. Same thing. Here we go. Here's Another Bunny one. out front. Bunny winds up. That one goes wide. Thinking about it too much. Ella Vista still in front. Matthew Here Bunny go. once again. Here's Polanco. Polanco. He'll shoot and score. So another one for Mateo Polanco. And I say another one, that's just his second of the game. Three thirty-four to go in the third quarter. Polanco's coming out. Oh, I'm wrong. He and Hoops, Polanco's and Hoops body styles are fairly similar and they move in similar ways. So it can be easy to and they're one number apart. It would be easy to mistake them. Montana Ornelas coming in. Kyler Simpson coming in for Bella Vista. Loose ball in the corner. In fact, that's Bunny that comes up with it here. Got Polanco. Kyler Simpson was there as well. Lots of blue shirts around that ball. They're having a heck of a time trying to control it. 
And the Broncos finally get it. This is Jack Ellsworth. He's got Bunny. Got Bunny to his left. He's got Alonzo as well. Alonzo has two tonight. Bunny has it. Out front it goes. Here's Polanco! Third goal for Polanco. 2.39 to go. And the Broncos are up by 11. They are not running the clock. So it may be that the running clock rules are a little bit different. We, we saw on Friday night with the girls game, it, it was at 10. It also may, not, also may not be until the fourth quarter. It's that pesky rule thing. Yeah. So they'll face it off. Whistle on the violation. This one's going to go over to Oakmont. And that's Jaden Kalb. Face off, man. Still loose. Some collision, crowd not happy. Derek Pryor. Has one goal tonight, along with the three from Seth Starkey for Oakmont. And there is the aforementioned Starkey. Aiden Hamill. Ball is down. James Feeney that scooped that one up. Now Joe Thomas has it. Casey tries to keep it in. Need to get rid of that. There's an interception for Ryland Wilson. Kavler had a chance at it. And there's Polanco pick it up. Got Bunny on the left side. Here's Victorin. Matthew Bunny thought about it. He'll bring it back out. Here's Thomas. Thomas is going to wind up from distance. That one goes wide. Bella Vista keeps possession. 17 yards. That's just really far away. And there's Mateo Polanco doing Mateo Polanco stuff again. And he finds the back of the net for the fourth time tonight. Polanco scored the last three for Bella Vista. 48 seconds to go. In fact, he has scored three goals in less than two minutes. I think the ref came to the table and told them uh, to, they may have told them to do a running clock. The table looked up to the, uh, to the scoreboard as they're doing right now, telling them running clock. And they will likely get that thing running here on the, on the face off and it won't stop again until the end of the quarter. So it is not a fourth quarter thing, we just learned. Here's Nick Tharlson. Tharlson Speed. with the pass in front yeah. looking for Ellsworth, who couldn't, they couldn't connect. He didn't catch that. Pass like that takes too long to get there. Go to the corner. Broncos will track this one down behind the goal. Chase Jones. There's James Feeney. Feeney on the move. And the quarter comes to an end here at Bella Vista High School. Three quarters in the books. It is all Broncos here tonight, 16 to four. Four goals from Mateo Polanco, three of which came in that third quarter. And uh, 
Matthew Bunny with eight. So the two of them combining for 12 goals total in this game uh, here tonight. And the uh, uh, again, this is uh, uh, turning out to be a tune-up before the, the Broncos wind up heading into uh, to league play later this week. You're right. Uh, we, we, we sort of saw that from the very beginning. Uh, and uh, I <coughs> excuse me, I was hearing the, the Oakmont uh, coach uh, at, at, uh, at halftime. I was near where he was and saying, oh, this is the second year for Oakmont. Uh, second year program and uh, so you know just not the same I don't think their neighborhood has a, a, a youth feeder uh, either they're they're more skilled guys maybe they play at Granite Bay or something like that uh, as a youth but um, they just they just don't have the, the pedigree um, that, the, that the Bella Vista guys do so what a difference so they're building something here they're just getting started right the, um, there were Oakmont players there were guys who played Guys who went to Oakmont who played on the clubs years ago before there right. was so many uh, varsities. But, uh, yeah, just building something and, um, you know, de decent construction so far, but not the same as BB now. One of the things that I've noticed as we put the rosters together here, a lot of their players played other sports. There's a lot of football players on this team, as a matter of fact. That's great. There's a few basketball players as well. But uh, primarily the ones that have played other sports are players that have played uh, football. And then there are some that are just lacrosse that also played on the team last year. You mentioned only their second year, so they're 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 building something here. Um, well, and look, look how many underclassmen too. Yes, indeed. Team. I mean, I'm looking at the number of seniors, and uh, there's only yeah, there's only a handful of them. One of whom's not available tonight. So that's why I was mentioning, you know, BB play the rest of the game left-handed, and, and I'm not being facetious. I'm too, you know. Right-handed, clearly they're a hot knife through butter. Said that four times probably. But, you know, do something different and test yourself. And, and, and uh, w what a great opportunity. Uh, you know, and, and if you fail using your left hand, so what? Broncos in possession to begin the fourth quarter. That's Tebow with it. Here's Thomas. Thomas right down the middle. Here is Caden Hoop. That was a left-handed catch. See, and if you fail, so what? Left-handed shot, driver. Right he's going to bring it in, and he's going to shoot, and that goes wide. Cool, good move. You know, and, and most guys will be real timid about playing with their off hand, but you know, here, get, get the reps, get the reps, get the reps. Kyler Simpson. Again, this is Bunny behind the net. That's his right hand. He ought to go to the other side. It's his right hand. That's his right hand. Thomas. That's a nice look. There's that a turn and there's a shot. That one's wide. How much did we ever see that in BB games before tonight? No. Maybe once. Maybe once. All season did have they fed like that. And they should be doing that every single time, I think. Here. And getting getting Here, used to that. Here's Bunny shot. And that pipe. one goes wide. Pipe. The pipe, I guess. That's high, but save. There's another save there by Reyes. Bunny's looking to try and track that one down. So there's big right-handed guns by Bunny and Polanco. They'll do that all this all night long. Uh, again, go go to the left side. See if you can do it. Possession back over to Bella Vista once again. Fed the crease. Right out in front. Ball is loose. So it looks like they are trying to get the ball into other players, like Miles Hatfield, who takes that shot. And there's a flag down. So this is going to be a penalty on Oakmont. That is... Caleb Fischel, number 35. Now here's BB's opportunity. They've been running that you know, six-man wheel most of the time. They're moving around a few times, and then uh, uh, and then everyone rotates. And what they really ought to be uh, trying to be is quicker, be quicker, quicker, quicker. That took too long. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. 
Uh, All right. There so they go. All, all six. There's the open shot. Missed it. it. Missed it. Gotta have that pass. And he's trying to track that one. <laughs> he settles himself out completely to try and save that. Unsuccessful. You know, if this were Jesuit, you're going to get, I don't know, four or five man ups. You need them all. You need them all. And, you know, if this were Jesuit, it would have been a turnover, and Jesuit will make you pay. Starkey. Lewis killing the penalty. Good wheels. He's got his man down there, yep. Left side, that's Pryor. The man down probably still for another 15 or 20. Pryor had a little trouble holding on to the ball. Maybe you guys got to run off. They're, they're, they're only got four now. Or no, I'm sorry, they're even for a sec. Blue offside. So that will go back over to Bella Vista. 7.50 to go for uh, fourth quarter. Sounds like a penalty on Bella Vista on uh, Jack McCasey. Five on five, probably for 15 seconds or something like that. A little confusion on the part of Bella Vista as to who is going in, and ultimately Feeney is the one that runs in there. Play the defensive spot. The long stick. So uh, Blue has four guys on, on defensive side now. They need another guy over on offense because they're even. It's a long stick going down offense. Still seems like there's a lot of confusion yeah, here. Ref's trying to figure something out here. Not sure what. So we had a pen penalty on Bella Vista, so that should be Oakmont ball. Looks like the penalty zone for Oakmont is cleared. Apparently there's two seconds left on the uh, Oakmont penalty. So now Oakmont man up. So BB has a defenseman on the crease. Who is he guarding? Here's a shot, and that one's a little too high. in this situation you put three defensemen across the top leave that leave that crease spot open because there's two there's two BB defensemen against the three three blue shirts across the top underhanded good shot save. good save by Chase Jones Hayes Reed's gonna go chase this one down or at least try to but Oakmont comes up with it right out in front couldn't control the possession Ellsworth had it whistle Looks like it'll stay with Oakmont. Unofficially got about 10 seconds left in the penalty. That's where they shot from before. And he does again. That one's wide, winds up in the control of Chase Jones. And Oakmont is even. BB is even. That's a good open. interception there by Norman Woods. He wasn't really open. Good look. Good luck. Right out in front. We're using playing time here with this. To, to yeah, with stop. the running clock, yeah. Flags down. Another flag. Who 
believe this is Cole Andreessen, number two. Woods. Woods in front. Jarred loose. And the penalty will be called. This will go against Bella Vista. seconds on uh, Ryland Wilson if he's coming back on I thought he said 46 the Casey's in the in the penalty BB assistant coach was telling me <laughs> you were in the box and then he puts his hands to his face because he's supposed to be in the box probably nobody noticed and McCasey is actually in the box right <laughs> so they have somebody in the box, and they are a man down. Shot goes wide. Underhanded shot. Chase Jones comes up with that one as well. So we are three and a half to go with a running clock here at Bella Vista High School. Matthew Bunny is sitting on eight goals for the game and 69 for his career. Here's Tebow on the move. There's Alonzo. He's got a couple tonight. There's a sweeping shot. That one goes wide. Looks like that was Polanco that took that one. Didn't put everything on it. It's just not, not the kind of game it is. Broncos have it again. This is Montana Warnellis. Three blue shirts right there. Gets by all of them. He'll take a shot. One goes, it is deflected. Far side, all kinds of pushing and shoving going on there. Looks like it's going to go over to Oakmont. Goes out of bounds and back over to Bella Vista. Clock continuing to run as we approach two minutes to go. There's Chase Jones. Good find. And a man right there in the middle. The right guy. Good move. Good help on his left. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. That's Get rid Montana of it. Ornelas. Right out in front. Alonzo. Save. And that's a good save by Reyes. Tyler Simpson will pick it up. So that decision by the feeder who was bringing the ball down, you know, against Jesuit, that ball's got to go. It's got to go to the correct guy. White stepped over. And nope. they will call that uh, the offsides, and then that will mean possession back over to Oakmont. You, against Jesuit, you can't do that. You can't step on the line. Starkey on the move. There's an underhanded shot that the deflects off of a defender and goes wide. Minute and a half on the running clock. Get a ball. There's a ball on the field, too. They're going to have to stop to get that off. Oh, geez. Starkey with the Save. shot. Nice Again, save. Chase Jones coming up with it. He'll probably feel that one tomorrow morning. Broncos on the move with Cody Simpson. Got to catch that. Tyler Simpson, I work behind the net. Nice look. Montana nice look. Ornelas. Right. Good, patience. Good patience. And he scores. Looks like he got an assist there from Caden Hoop. Anthony Montano Ornelas with uh, another goal for him. Eighth of his career. That's a game. And the second uh, of the season. So with that, the game has come to an end. Anthony Montano Ornelas with the final goal of the game. And that uh, 
happening probably with about 20 seconds to go. The Broncos take this one 17 to 14. And uh, like you have mentioned in the second half, it did seem more like they were moving the ball and trying to get the ball to specific people and get people to cut to the crease rather than look for those those goals. Right, rather than just drive the ball individually, they, 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 they showed themselves, they showed Oak, uh, Oakmont, they showed all of us. They can do that all night. And so, okay, good. Now, now we know that. Now let's let's you know play as a team. Let's execute things that you know are new and different for us. And uh, again, I think this is the first game. If, if VV's fed the crease in earlier games this season, it's been once, and they just they just never did it. And that's a, to me a key uh, portion of, a, of an offense to add that layer. And so great to see it tonight. They executed it tonight, and if they can keep doing that the rest of the season, it'll really help. Wednesday afternoon, they'll take on Rio over at Rio Americano uh, High School in Carmichael. We will see how well they they do Rio, more established program. But uh, Bella Vista took care of them fr fairly easily this year in the in the season opener in a non-league game. Um, but how what uh, what did they do tonight that maybe they can maybe use to their advantage on Wednesday and then also Friday against St. Mary's? Well, I mentioned that feed, feed in the crease. I'm I'm a huge fan of that, and it, it, it uh, not only does it do, do what it does alone, meaning gets a guy open that close, it means it, it can change the uh, slide uh, packages and the slide design, uh, the double teaming design for the defense. And so it will challenge the defense um, uh, to be to, to react differently to other situations. And so not only, again, not only does it do what it does, but it changes other things as well. So um, and again, they gotta, BB's got to work on their clears still. Um, you you want to see those crisper, you want to see a, you know 70 and 80% clear percentage. I'm not even sure they got that tonight, maybe. Um, but uh, you, want, you want more confidence as the clear is, is, uh, is progressing while it's going on. So looking ahead to the, uh, the schedule for Bella Vista, they will be at Rio Americano on Wednesday. The varsity game will be at 3.30 in the afternoon, and the JV game will be at 5.30. That's over at Rio Americano. And then on Friday night, it's a trip to south to Stockton, as the Broncos will take on the Rams of St. Mary's. The JV game will be at 5.30 and the varsity game at 7.30. And then uh, one week from this Wednesday is the big one. And that's when we will be back on right here at Bella Vista High School. The Jesuit Marauders will be coming, uh, coming over from Carmichael to uh, battle against the Broncos here at Bella Vista. That is a 5.30 JV game and a 7.30 varsity game we will have both of them for you here on youtube so uh, a big uh, a big uh, next three games for bella vista well they are yeah um asterisks by all the ones except for the very last game re in the season again all league games you mentioned they took care of rio in the past that was a long time ago i think was that opening night it was very very it early was. in the season yeah and so both teams were really early they weren't ready and so would, you know will rio be different yes they will is BV different than then? Yes, they are. So it would be, you know, be great to see that matchup. So, again, match up with them twice, match up with St. Mary's twice, Jesuit in the middle, finish it off with Delaro. So for Oakmont, they're also, they also have games on Wednesday and Friday this week. They will be at Grant on, uh, on the 10th. That's Wednesday. That's a 7 o'clock start over at Grant High School. And then they will be taking on the Lincoln Zebras on the 12th. That is a home game for Oakmont. And that is also the varsity game is at 7 o'clock. Presumably, well, uh, Oakmont does not have JV, uh, a, a JV squad right now. They are still building. Maybe in a few years they will have enough players right. to where they'll be able to field a JV team. So, But if you are an Oakmont fan, uh, uh, actually I stand corrected. It will be Lincoln of Stockton on Friday, and then the Lincoln Zebras of Lincoln will be next Wednesday, the <laughs> 17th. So just, to, just make sure we get all of that straight and uh, – I uh, hope that uh, maybe we did have some folks, uh, uh, supporters of Oakmont High School, watching us tonight uh, as well. Certainly best wishes to that program as they build. And I cannot wait to see what they do uh, as they uh, establish the little cross program there. Yeah, they've got some other good uh, programs there. Their football's always been really good. And you said a bunch of football players here. If they can keep that up. Look how many guys they've got. Again, this is a, you know, if they don't, if they don't have a feeder, I think they do not have a youth feeder. But you can still pull this many guys onto a high school team. That's a great thing. So get more guys, get more guys, get more guys. They'll grow. Well, it's one of uh, one of, of a few high schools in the Roseville area. So, uh, uh, y and, and of course, R Roseville High School uh, has uh, a pretty well established with uh, 
its lacrosse program, and we saw them last week. But uh, uh, but you know there are, there are other schools too. So we know what Rockland does with their feeder programs. Roseville needs to kind of do the same thing. It'd be great if they could and, get a youth and, program, and and that that would be fantastic. It would step up the level of competition that uh, that 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 we see as well. So that would be kind of cool. So. Anyway, so busy week for everybody for, for, for Bella Vista High School. So, um, uh, so we will see them uh, next with uh, our live stream a week from Wednesday when they take on the Jesuit Marauders. But prior to that, two road games this week at Rio Americano and St. Mary's. Final score once again, Bella Vista 17, Oakmont 4 here on this Monday night in Fair Oaks. Matthew Bunny leads the way with eight goals. And Mateo Polanco adds four goals, and I think he had like four assists too. Some really nifty passes by uh, uh, by Polanco this evening. So thank you very much for joining us. Uh, our camera operator, uh, Stephanie Degada, our producer, Julie Tharlson. Now for David Houseworth, I'm George Tharlson. Have a great night, everyone, and we will talk to you again next week. <laughs>